In the event you don't have access to a supported phone or tablet, or if you prefer not to use wireless configuration, ZenApex supports a wired configuration mode using a PC. Download the PC install package from Zimtech slash downloads and then install. Before running ZimApex Manager on your PC, you will first need to put your ZimApex into wired configuration mode. Instead of plugging your ZimApex with peripherals into your console, you will instead plug it into your PC. Right after you plug into your PC, press ZimApex's button while you see its startup rainbow sequence. You will see your ZimApex flash red rapidly. This means it went into wired configuration mode. Next run ZimApex Manager and it will connect to your ZimApex. You can then configure your ZimApex like you normally would. When you are done, close ZimApex Manager, remove ZimApex from your PC, and then plug your ZimApex into your console. Since you can't do real-time in-game configuration while within wired configuration mode, ZimApex has a feature called Direct Configuration. This allows you to change parts of your config using your controller without needing manager. Direct Configuration can modify your current loaded config's HIP and ADS sensitivity as well as your button mappings. To enter Direct Configuration, press Start and Back on your Xbox controller or Options and Touch Click on your PlayStation controller at the same time. Your ZimApex will start blinking blue, and you are now in Sensitivity Adjustment Mode. To increase or decrease your hip sensitivity, press up and down on your controller's D-pad. Your Zim Apex's lights will flash yellow. To increase or decrease your ADS sensitivity if your game supports it, press right and left on your controller's D-pad. Your Zim Apex's light will flash green. If you'd like to now change your button mappings, press the guide button on your controller. You will now be in button mapping mode. You can now press a button on your controller you'd like to map. Your Zim Apex will flash purple when you do. Then, press the button on your mouse, keyboard, or joystick you'd like to map. If you can't remember what a button does on your controller, just hold the button down and it will go through. Continue to do this until you have set all the mappings you like. When finished, press Start and Back, or Options and Touch Click, at the same time again. Your settings will save and you will be returned to normal gaming mode.